how's everyone doing today we're back here with another video today today we are going to take a look at my wife's marker um, her Tipman Cronus tactical edition so oh, by the way this is the I don't know how you say this flam flamboy this is the flamboy case or however you want to say it I don't know how to how to pronounce that word but that's it right there uh, this case also came from Walmart it was uh, I think I got it on sale for 10 bucks uh, but usually they're around 15 bucks um, online or in store uh, depending on what Walmart you go to but I got it on sale for I think it was 10 bucks so today we're gonna be taking a look at this one um, this is the Tipman Cronus Tactical, uh, and as I mentioned in my other video, um, this is tuned to high power. Now, before we proceed with this video, I would like to say, before you guys purchase these to tune to high power, make sure you know your state and local laws, uh, because once you tune them to high power, they are no longer paintball markers. They are considered, well, here in the state that we're in, even if they weren't tuned to high power, they're still consider considered weapons. So, please know your state and local laws before you go doing these things. Okay, so here, like I said before, is the Tim and Cronus. Uh, this one is the Tactical Edition. They do have the basic. Um, but my wife liked it, this one, so I got her this one. Uh, I think I bought this... Uh, it was brand new when I bought it almost two years ago, um, but I didn't buy it in a paintball shop or in a store. I got it from a guy that bought it, uh, I, I think for his son or something, and never used it. When I bought it, I think I paid like 50 bucks for it, so I I got, I grabbed, I snatched it up, um, and uh, it was still brand new in the package. Like, all the wrappers were on it, everything was still on it, and I paid like $50 for it. So I couldn't pass it up. But yeah, this one does have a laser right here. Um, and it does work. Um, I try not to have my wife use that too much because I want her to learn how to how, how to shoot from the sights. But um, let me tell you a little bit about this, uh, this marker. Um, I did... Um, I t obviously, I tuned it to high power, uh, so it's, it's shooting roughly 330-ish to 350-ish um, on the on the digital chrono that I have downloaded on my phone. Um, it says it's always shooting around 360, 364, but it's off by a little bit, and I I know that because I've seen videos on that chrono uh, with the digital chrono that I have downloaded compared to an official chronograph and it's always off about 15 uh, 15 F fps so it's it's shooting roughly 350 ish 349 ish but I, I you know can't be sure so I I round it from 330 to 350 anywhere in between there so the way I got that um, was I got the idea of shimming you know, I, I did the velocity screw. Um, you know, I, I tuned, I turned up the velocity screw and then I got the idea from, uh, Chi and Nature's channel to shim the rear spring. Now you can always go buy a stronger spring. Um, but I just wanted to see if it worked and it worked and I just left it like that. So I just shimmed it a little bit to where you can actually cock it. And it'll shoot. So with that mod, and turned up the velocity screw as much as much as I possibly could without without it dipping, without the FPS dipping down. Because usually, if you take this out too much, if you you know, because I think this one is counterclockwise. If you unscrew it too much, it'll uh, it'll start dipping on the FPS. So I I did it enough to where it was high enough, and then the 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 spring mod I did to this. 
Um, and it's shooting, like I said, roughly three, three thirty to three fifty ish right around there. Um, and I didn't do anything else. The only thing I do is open it, uh, once every two months. Um, now I should be cleaning it a little bit more. And I got that idea from another channel from a gentleman named Maga man. Uh, shout out to him. He got, he has great contact content. And so does, uh, Chi and nature's channel. Great content. Um, Actually, Chi and Nature's channel was the one that got me into doing these. So, big shout out to him, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I, I keep them very, I try to keep them as clean as possible because we do uh, target shooting every Sunday. My wife and I, we set up targets in the back and we do target shooting. That's how come I always have a lot of uh, CO2s. Um, this one I got from ANS Gear. These two I just buy from Walmart. They're regular JT pre-filled 90 gram CO2s. Buy them from Walmart. Uh, this is just a little flashlight that used to be on the other side, but I take it off because then the, cl the case doesn't close. So I have it just laying there for now. I don't want to toss it or anything, but you know, that's what I got there. Um, but yeah. Um, so. On, on this weapon or this marker, what I have, I have the uh, JT adapter and I have the GOG on off uh, switch. All right, there's the on off, on and off. So I can leave this connected to here, but then it won't fit in the, uh, in the case, as you can see. So I just, whenever I go whenever we target shoot in the back i just we just shoot until the until the co2 runs out um and you can get this one uh like i said before in uh ansgear.com i think they're like seven bucks something like that each and then these you can get in walmart you can get a two pack for i think 12 bucks um what else did i do so i'm gonna move on over here this is the ammo that I use, um, the balls that I use. Um, I like the red ones a lot more because they don't have like a little, let me see if I can pull this one out. Like if you look at the ball, let's see if this focuses, focus, focus, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't have like a seam or anything. So I like this one better because it's smoother and it's heavier than the black ones that I have that I have there. Those black ones are not uh, the jewels from Grimberg. This is a set that I got probably when I bought this 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 marker. Um, these are regular riot balls, and these are breaker balls. So these are four point seven grams in weight, and these are three point seven grams in weight. So they're a lot lighter. And if you look closely, you can see where the seam is. You see the seam right there? And the other one doesn't have it. So I don't, I use these for uh, for target shooting, the black ones. And um, I am going to be replacing most all of these black ones with uh, the red ones because I love the red ones. Now, I do want to get the jewels. But I don't want to lose a lot of SPS, FPS, because while these are 4.7 grams, the jewels are 7.8 grams, and this is shooting at 330 to 350-ish feet per second. And um, since the ball is a lot heavier, you're going to lose a little bit of FPS. Uh, I don't know how, how much of an impact that would do. But I'm pretty sure it'll still hurt. But these will fly out at 330, close to 330, 350-ish. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're, they're going to hurt like hell too. Because I got hit with a paintball gun, with a paintball, and that shit hurts. So I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be replacing these, the black ones, for more red ones. Now, I bought these a long time ago. I think I got a, a set of 100 of them. 
or 200 of them. Let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so, and my, my wife has ten more. And then I have in this box a whole other bag for target shooting. And I think I paid like 60 bucks for all of them. Um, 60 bucks, I think it was. And then these for 200, you're gonna, you're gonna pay about, um, I think it's 50 or 60 bucks online. Um, I think I got these from Tech Tactical, if I'm not mistaken. These, I don't remember where I got them from because I, I bought these a long time ago. These I just bought uh, a few weeks ago. So these I know I got from Tech Tactical. Okay. So um, what I was going to say. Oh, maintaining this weapon or this marker. I Excuse me. I use gold cup to lube it. And then I use a little bit of the first strike. By the way, these are these are the original ones that I use for the for the first strikes, for the first strike compacts. I use these. Uh, you do want to stick to manufacturer uh, recommended oils because if you use anything else, you can damage the, the the marker. Okay. So for this marker, it's recommended that I use. Uh, Hops 9, if I'm not mistaken. I got to look in the manual again. But I use Gold Cup. Everybody swears by it, and it's pretty good. I use it, I've been using it for a while, and it's pretty good. Um, and then I sometimes I throw a little bit of uh, silicone on, like, the uh, the O-rings on, on, on the inside here. You know, and sometimes I spray a little in through here. So when the, when the CO2 hits it, it goes into the gun and, and oils the internals. Uh, you can also do the same thing with this one. You know, just drip a little bit on the in the inside here, and then just let it oil up all the internal parts, um, and it'll it'll keep shooting. Um, but yeah, that's my wife's weapon uh, or marker, which whatever one you wanna you wanna call it. Um, and it's it's been working for us for two years. It's great. I have no we have no issues with it. Um, and she loves it. She loves this one, by the way, shooting it. She loves it. Um, so yeah, that's my, uh, video for today. Oh, before I forget, um, again, I'm going to say it again before buying these, please know your, find out where your state and local laws are. Um, cause you don't want to get in trouble and please use these responsibly. Please use these responsibly. You can get in really big trouble using these one unlawfully and you could get hurt if you don't, if you're not careful with these. You should at all the time handle these like if they were firearms. So please be very careful because anything can go wrong with these things. So with that, that's today's video. Thanks for watching.